The love story of Shakti and Shiva, the god of destruction. King Daksha and his wife, Queen Prasuti, wished to have a daughter, so they asked for help from the creator Brahma. Lord Brahma advised the couple to meditate and ask goddess Adi Parashakti for help. The king and queen followed this advice. Both took off their royal clothes, dressed simply and went into the deep forest to meditate on the goddess Adi Parashakti. The two and number 39. As sincerity pleased the goddess, she appeared and granted their wish. King Daksha immediately asked the goddess to reincarnate as his daughter. Adi Parashakti agreed, however, she gave a warning that if in this life she was offended, she would immediately leave them. King Daksha and his wife agreed. Not long after, Queen Prasuti gave birth to a daughter and named her Shakti. Because the princess is the child of King Daksha, the grandson of Brahma, she is also called Dakshayani. When letting goddess Adi Parashakti descend to earth as an ordinary person, god Brahma intended to pair her with god Shiva. So, naturally, Princess Shakti grew up with an admiration for Shiva, as well as a love of stories about him that she had been told since childhood. She became an ardent believer. When she grew up, the princess no longer wanted to marry anyone other than Shiva. Because Shiva is an ascetic god, in order to conquer his heart, Princess Shakti volunteered to leave the palace. Went into the forest to practice asceticism. The princess and number 39, as ascetic practice was extremely strict, so she was also called by the name Aparna. After a long and persistent process, she finally moved Lord Shiva and number 39's heart and he agreed to marry her. The couple then returned to the palace to meet King Daksha and hold the wedding. However, King Daksha, famous for his arrogance, did not like his son-in-law because he thought that Shiva had stolen his daughter. When the wedding ended, Shakti followed Shiva to the Kalash domain. One day, King Daksha held a yagna, a fire sacrifice ceremony. He invited all the gods, goddesses and princes to attend. But the couple Shiva and Shakti are not mentioned at all. Princess Shakti insisted on going to the ceremony. She persuaded Shiva to go with her but could not. Finally, I ordered an army to escort her to King Daksha. Upon arriving, King Daksha was angry with the princess. He insulted Shiva and said she was not welcome. Legend has it that when King Daksha kept screaming, Princess Shakti showed her true form as goddess Adi Parashakti because she was so angry at the king and number 39, as disrespectful and unruly behavior. Adi Parashakti placed a curse on all those present at the ceremony and on King Daksha. She cursed them to be killed by Shiva, and the Yagna ritual would never be completed. After that, she said goodbye to her husband and mortal mother and burned herself with the hope that in her next life she would be born with a father worthy of her respect. Princess Shakti and Number 39 S. Death made Shiva sad. Sad and angry, he decided to punish King Daksha by performing the Enquat, Tandava and Quat. Dance his dance of destruction. Tandava, the destructive dance of Shiva, carrying terrible power. In ancient texts and legends, at least eight tunes are listed. Ananda Tandava, expressing Shiva and number 39. S. Joy, Tripura Tandava, Sandhya Tandava, Samhara Tandava, Kali, Kalika, Tandava, Uma Tandava, Gauri Tandava, and Rudra Tandava, expresses anger. The Tandava dance in this legend expresses sadness and anger. 
so it is considered the Rudra Tandava. Dance. Usually Tandava will be combined with Lasya dance. The Lasya dance is gentle and sometimes quite erotic, soothing, compensating for the strong, intense Tandava dance. Every movie about this couple has a scene where they both dance to unite their powers. Quite beautiful. Not stopping there, the god also pulled out two strands of hair and dropped them on the ground. From those two strands of hair appeared two fierce incarnations of Shiva. Vorabhadra, a male god with dark skin, eight arms holding weapons, and Bhadrakali a goddess with eighteen arms also holding various types of weapons. Another legend says that Vorabhadra was born first and was imprisoned by Lord Vishnu, because Vishnu wanted to protect his follower Daksha. Therefore, to free Vorabhadra, Lord Shiva created Bhadrakali. Both of these deities are fierce, aggressive, and cruel. Lord Shiva ordered two incarnations to kill King Daksha. True to Adi Parashakti and Hash 39's curse, King Daksha was beheaded by Vorabhadra. Daksha and number 39's sacrifice turned into a bloody massacre. The next morning, when his anger subsided, Shiva forgave everyone and revived those who had been killed the night before including King Daksha. This noble act made the arrogant king feel remorseful and determined to spend the rest of his life worshipping Shiva. Then, because he was so saddened by the death of his beloved wife, he took her body to wander around the three worlds to reminisce about the past happy days. The God and Number 39 S. Pain caused all things in the three worlds to be seriously affected, so Lord Vishnu was forced to use Chakra Sudarshana to cut Shakti and number 39's body into 51 pieces and scatter them to earth. Each place where the body piece fell later became a sacred sanctuary, praying to Goddess Shakti. This time Lord Shiva was no longer angry. He ignored the birth and death of the three worlds and retreated to a cave to meditate. Because Shiva is the god who rules over destruction, when destruction no longer exists, everything becomes unbalanced and chaotic. And it wasn't an hash 39, t until thousands of years later, when Pavarti went to the cave to wake him up, that this chaos ended. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.